Hi everyone, it's Nicole from Me and Browser. Hope you're having a wonderful week. Today I'm going to be doing an evening look. It's like an old bridal look I used to do when I was a makeup artist. And I'm going to do two different colors today. I'm going to be doing more of a brownie look on this side and more of a charcoal navy look on this side. I'll be using the most inexpensive products just so that you can buy products that don't cost you a fortune and you can create a beautiful look. So first things first, let's turn this light up. So you can see, we've got our QV Face Moisturizing Day Cream. This one does has an SPF 30. So I'll just put a pea size on the back of my hand. We also have our MAC Strobe Cream, and that gives a bit of a um, luminous glow. And then we've got our MAC Prep and Prime Hydrating Serum. So using your Nude by Nature number 13 brush, just pop that serum all over the face for some hydration and then just go in there with your moisturizer and stroke cream all over the face and the forehead into the neck once you've applied that today we're going to be using thin lizzie flawless complex complexion liquid foundation and this color is pacific sun so i'm just going to pop you only need a little bit just one pump and grabbing your brush again again buff the product into the skin so this is more of a heavier look than some of the other tutorials i've been doing this foundation is a little bit a little bit darker than the everyday look, but still matching the color of my neck and chest, which we can blend through with bronzers later as well as foundation. Can you see how that's a little bit more fuller coverage? Make sure you get into the hairline. See how great this brush is where you can really get into those nooks and crannies. I'm not covering my eyebrows today because I already have cosmetic tattoo on them. So I can pencil in over that. Make sure you get your neck and a little bit into the ears. Now, once we've applied our foundation, what we're going to be doing is grabbing today our Natio Concealer, Natural Cover Concealer. And I'm just going to pop three little dots underneath my eyes and anywhere on the face where you feel there's a few little imperfections place that there and then using this finger just pat that in again don't wipe because you'll be wiping the product away and we don't want that so just pat that in you can use your finger you can use a sponge you can use a fluffy brush completely up to you there are no rules in makeup. Okay, so now that we've concealed, we don't need to overdo it. You know, some people do those huge V concealers. I'll do another tutorial later on on how to bake under the eye and things like that, but I just do think less is more. Okay, so now that we've concealed, we are going to start on the so i talked about the navy and the um this is the navy kit so this is the naked eye two-faced palette and we're going to be using the lap dance color and the stiletto color and also the satin sheets color so this is a brush which is a naked naked to Urban Decay palette brush and it's got a fluffy brush on the end and a flat brush on the other side. Um, these fluffy brushes on this size can really get into the socket really nicely. So I'm just going to grab a small amount of the stiletto. I'm not going to go into the really dark one, just the stiletto colour there. So tap, 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 tap the product off a little bit. Now, closing your eye, we're just going to 
backwards and forwards like a windscreen wiper get into that socket and go a little bit more further in backwards and forwards backwards and forwards it's all about blending and then go into a V onto see here just like this and take it out a little bit once you've gone into the socket and into the V area, just look up and just drag that underneath the eye and that just balances it all out. See, just like that. Okay, now once we've done that, I'm just going to grab the satin sheets, it's kind of pinky color dab that in with a fresh brush and just tap that off and just press it in like this like press into the center of the eye and I'm going into the corner of the eye like that that gives it a bit of a pop right there once you've applied that go back into the medium color which is the stiletto and then come back in and just go backwards and forwards blending those two colors together so we're blending this into this okay so that is the naked eye palette just going to clean my brush now we've got a that's the navy color We've got the Too Faced Natural Eye. That was the Naked Eye, this is the Natural Eye. See that beautiful palette? And today we're going to be using the Push Up and the Honey Pot and the Cocoa Puff. So these three colors here. So I'm gonna start off with the nice dark brown color. These um, shadows have a little bit of glitter to the pigment. Maybe a bit of a boo-boo, that's all good. And just go backwards and forwards. And you can clean all this up. It's all about blending. Backwards and forwards. And then go into a V here and then look up and just balance that out underneath. Now getting a blending brush, we just want to smooth those edges. So I'm just going to grab my makeup kit. And one of my favorite brushes is my Napoleon 217 brush. It's really good for really fluffing out those edges and blending that in. See that? Now it's blending. Now I'm going to go in with my honey pot, which is this color here. And I'm just going to press that in to the middle of the eyelid. Again, blending into the other color. And then I'm going to go in with my honey pot, which is a bit of a honey, beautiful shimmery color. And I'm just going to pop that in the corner just to blend those three colors together. Just a bit of layering to give a bit of dimension. Now, there's also a color here, which I love to do for the inner corner of the eye, and it's called Nude Beach. And that's that bottom one here. So I'll just dip my brush in there and I'm just see how you pop a pop of color here and that just pops the eye can you hear chloe snoring <laughs> okay see that so we've got the 
charcoal navy look and we've got more of a brown look. Now I'm going to go in with my brows with my Mia Brows dark brown pencil before I start on my lashes. I'm just going to brush up my brows and I'm just going to create a stencil underneath and above making sure those arches are nicely rounded then I'm going to go into the mid of my brow with tiny little hair strokes. This eyebrow crayon is perfectly suited to create tiny little hair strokes. It's so fine. And then I'm going to blend that out. Make sure your eyebrows are very soft. So you blend the upper and underneath stencil and then blend that product throughout the brow. On the other side, I'm going to create a stencil on the top and a stencil on the bottom. You can watch my previous videos either on Instagram or YouTube on how to create an eyebrow stencil and create balance and symmetry. So just creating tiny little hair strokes and then again, blending that through the brow, softening the edges. And then just go back in on any areas that you feel need to be covered. Once I've completed that step, I'm going to get my Me and Brows Clear Brow Gel. And I'm just going to lift my eyebrow hairs so that they stick up and look thoroughly groomed all day and they will not budge. Great. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm just going to grab my NARS. You can use whatever mascara you like. This is just my preferred mascara. So just very quickly, just grab the product off the ends. Again, get to the base of the corner of the lash. Wiggle, wiggle, pull up. Middle section, wiggle, wiggle, pull up. Grab the edge of your skin there and then get to the corners and wiggle wiggle pull up and just separate those lashes you can do two layers once you've done the other side go back to the other then i get the rest of the product and pop that underneath the corners of my eyes on the bottom lashes i'm just going to grab some more product and then i'm just going to go in again on the base corner of the lash, wiggle, wiggle up, wiggle, wiggle up, wiggle, wiggle middle and up. Grab the corner of your skin, corner of the eye, and just do the inner corners. And this makes sure that each lash is coated from the base to the tip. And then just separate those lashes and flick a few more strokes onto the corners giving that cat eye look once we've applied our mascara i like to grab my cold pencil this is my rimmer one and just pull the eye down slightly and just on the waterline slant your pencil to the side and for a more heavier look Go right into the corner duct of your eye. Repeat on the other side. Right into the tear duct. Now you can do above the outer corners, just looking up and above the above lash line on the outer corners. Then you can come in, pull your skin like this and just pop a touch here, meeting this V here. So just a touch on the waterline here. And that gives you a more defined look around the eye area. Now that we've done that, I've got my Thin Lizzy bronzer. It's really good. Um, six in one professional powder 
And I'm just going to grab a dense brush. Now remember the rules for bronzing. You can do your cheekbone or you can do your contouring bronzing. I like to do my contouring bronzing. So from this part of the ear down to the middle and we're going to be doing an E. So starting off here, buff backwards and forwards. Going into your temple and your hairline. And then going into your jawline. See how we're now doing an E? Repeat on the other side, backwards and forwards from this part of the ear. Going into the hairline and the temple and basically this part of the forehead. And then going into your jawline. And make sure that it is all buffed in nicely. Now with bronzer, basically you can do anything where your light, the, the sunlight will catch your face. So the chin, a little bit on the nose, and of course you've done these areas. Now remember last time we did bronzer on the apples of the cheeks. Today we've got my Natio um, Peach Glow. And it's a beautiful, now you have, have really, really, really nice products. Inexpensive products. So I'm just going to tap that in, smile. And a peach glow I prefer over a pink glow. That's just me, but you can do whatever you wish. See how that gives me just a touch of a flush? Once I've done that, I like to go back in with my bronzer and just blend a little bit of that in. Okay, now you can grab a bronzer and just take that down into the neck area, matching this to this. So whip that around and just cover your chest area. And that will blend it through. Now lips, I'm just going to grab my Napoleon Camo, um, Cameo sorry, lip liner, but you can use any nude lip liner. So using the pencil, make sure it's sharp and do a V on your Cupid's bow, not straight across a beautiful V. Don't overline the inner corners of the top and bottom. Go in to your actual natural lip line. You can overline here if you like. Go to the middle. And again, don't overline these areas. Now today I've got, oh, my leg fell asleep. Oh, I just gotta stretch. You can either go back in with your pencil and just run that through the whole lip just to give it more longevity. Then I've got my MAC Fulfilled Peach Gloss. You can use any peach gloss. Sports Girl have really beautiful ones. Natio have beautiful ones. And because I've got a heavier eye, lighter lip. Darker lip, lighter the eye. So I'll show you a red lip next on another video and how I do my eyes and show you how to put eyelash eyelashes onto your eyelashes properly okay press together and then we've got my infallible fixing mist give it a bit of a shake and just lightly spray that not too close and that will set the makeup and then you can do your hair get all dressed up so see how this is a really nice I can't remember which side I did. This was the navy look and this was the, no, this is the navy look and this is the brown look. Oh my God, can't see in this light. And that gives you two different looks. Next video, I will show you how to do, um, put eyelashes on using my Ardell um, individual lashes as well as a whole strip of lash. This is an Ardell little separate lashes, which are 
fantastic to use. So that's just a really nice evening look um, that you can use for something when you're going out or if you just want more of a full on look that's not the medium coverage that I did last time in my video. Lots of love guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like our YouTube channel um, and also visit us on Instagram and Facebook um, under me and Browse. Lots of love.